Good morning, God. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, Jesus. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Good morning, God. Thank you. Be with us. Be with me. Be with my family. Let's go. I want to get your energy. <laughs> My living water, I love you. I love you, everyone. Hello, everyone. This is Hannah. This morning is really cool. Yeah, the just gate of four, almost summer, is getting to uh, turn to four. But it's feel really cool, fresh. This morning I ch I'm choosing this John chap John. Maybe it takes uh, one or two day, uh, two or three days. I think I I gonna uh, uh, divide the two parts or three parts. I will try to go chapter. Uh, 10 or 12 so let's go this morning how long it takes time let's go chapter 1 because I want to read or uh, read through it John chapter uh, the, uh, John the gospel of John yeah in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God Actually, yesterday I fin finished and my battery was gone, but uh, there are one um, old man just uh, watched me and he wants to, uh, uh, he wants, he wants to reading in English. So maybe this morning I'm just waiting on an old man who wants to um, speak in English well. So I'm praying for him. S that's why I just come because uh, I my energy also down. So, but still my energy up because I'm just uh, I I have. Uh, prayer title so let's go in the beginning was the word yeah in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God he was in the beginning with God all things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of man and the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it and the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it there was a man sent from God whose name was John yeah, John is just, this man came for a witness to bear, bear witness of the light that was through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of the light, of that light. That was the true light which gives light to every man who comes into the world. He was in the world and the world was made through him and the world did not know him. He came to his own and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him to them, he gave the right to become children of God even to those who believe believe in his name 
who were born not of blood, not of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. So all these things accomplished by the will of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as the, the only glorious of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is prepared before me, or, or, or for he was before me. And of his fullness we have all received, and grace for grace yes for the law was given through moses but grace and truth came through jesus christ no one has seen god at any time the only begotten son who is in the bosom of the father he has declared him now this is the testimony of John when the Jews sent priests and rabbis from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you, that we may give an answer to those who sent us? What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. As the prophet Isaiah said, now those who now those who were sent to war from the uh, Pharisees and uh, uh, and as they asked him saying why then you do baptize if you are not the Christ nor Elijah nor the uh, prophet John answered, John answered them, saying, I baptized with water, but there stands one among you whom you do not know. Yeah, there stands one among you whom you, whom you do not know. Yeah, it is, it is he who coming after me is prepared before me whose sender strap whose sender strap I'm not worthy to lose. These things were done in uh Beth Bethabara Bethsebara Bethsedra Bethsebra Bedani, Beda, Bedabara, Bedabara, be, beyond the Jordan where John was baptizing. The next day, John was Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, after me comes a man who is prepared before me, for he was before me. I did not know him, but that he should be re revered, revered to Israel. Therefore I came, baptizing with water. And John bore witness, saying, I saw the Spirit descending upon heaven like a dove, and he remained upon him. I did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, Upon whom you see the Spirit 
descending and that remaining on him, this is he who baptized with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and testified that this is the Son of Lord God. Again, the next day John stood with two of his disciples and looking and and looking at Jesus as he he walked, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him speak and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned and seeing them following, saying to them, What do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, which is to say when translated teacher, Where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw there he was staying and remained with him that day. Uh, now it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew Simon, Simon Peter's brother. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him and was Andrew Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, we have found the Messiah, which is translated the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Now when Jesus, when Jesus looked at him, he said, oh, you are Simon, the son of Jonah. Uh, you shall be called Kephas, which is translated a stone. The following day, Jesus wanted to go to Galilee, and he found uh, Philip and said to him, follow me. It's early morning, there are lots of cars to and fro. And now Philip was from Bethsaida, Beth Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Behold, behold an Israel indeed in whom is no guile. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before me, uh, Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree. Do you believe? You will see greater things than these. He, and he said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, Hereafter you shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Yeah, it's long. Hello. Chapter 2, John, the Gospel of John, Chapter 2. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Now, both Jesus, uh, both Jesus and his disciples were, uh, disciples were invited to the wedding. And when they ran, when they ran out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to, uh, said to him, they have no wine. Jesus said to her, woman, what does your concern have to do with me? 
my hour has not yet come. Yeah, this hour we have interesting. So I will try to read Daniel 9, 27 will be connected to this time. So next time I will read the Daniel. Yeah, let's go. His mother said to the servants, whatever he says to you, do it. The first um, miracle and Jesus just, you know, bring his all disciples go to uh, attend the attend together this wedding. I w want to know why, but it's, let's go. His mother said to the servants, whatever he says to you, do it. And the, now there was said there are six water pots of stone according to the manner of purification of the Jews containing 20 or 30 gallons of peace, uh, Jesus said to them, fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, draw some out now and take, take it to the master of the feast. And they took it. When the master of the feast had the, tasted the water that was made wine and did not know where it came from but the servants who had uh, drawn the water knew the master of the feast called the bridegroom and he said to him every man at the beginning sets out of the good wine and when the when the guests have well drunk than that which is inferior, but you have kept the good wine until now. This beginning of science Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him. Oh, that's why. Manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him because of this uh, things. After this, he went down to Capernaum. He, his mother, his brothers, and his disciples, and they did not st stay there many days. Uh, now the Passover of the Jews was at hand, and uh, Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and he found in the temple those who sold oxen and sheep and doves and the money changes doing business. When he had made a whip of course, he drove them all out of the temple with the sheep and the oxen and poured out of the changers money uh, and overturned the tables, overturned, overturned the tables. And he said to those who sold doves, Take these things away. Do not make my father's house a house of merchandise. Yeah, the first canna's uh, wedding, and second is the clean the sanctuary and make the shout. Take these things away. Do not make my father's house a a house of merchandise, merchandise. Then his disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house has eaten me up. Oh, Zeal for 17. Songgyong 말씀에 주의 전을 사모하는 열심히 나를 삼키리라 한 것을 기억하더라. Zeal for your house has eaten me off. So the Jews answered and said to him, What sign do you show to us, since you do these things? Yeah, what sign? Please show to us, show to me too. Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then the Jews said, yeah, he asked destroy this temple. 
he knows he knew it already. They gonna destroy or Jesus command destroy. Which one is the more close to God, the, the will of God? Jesus answered and said to them, destroy this temple. Yeah, he commanded first. And in three days I will raise it up. Yeah, that's the will of God. He commanded to order the two people destroy this temple. I gonna destroy I gonna destroy it by you, not like that. He ordered, yeah, destroy this temple first. And in this day, in three days, I will raise it up, yes. Then the Jews said, it has taken 46 years to build this temple and will you raise it up in three days? but he was speaking of the temple of his body. Therefore, when he had risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this to them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Now, when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, during the feast, many believed in his name when they saw the signs which he did. But Jesus did not commit himself to them because he knew all men and had no need that anyone should te testify of men for he knew what was in man. Yeah. Chapter 3 So deeply I have to uh, think about uh, Jesus or what he did and uh, we just respond like what after I read it all through I can just more well do it well uh, chapter 3 there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus a ruler of Jews this man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and he born, be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is, is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it will wishes, and you, you hear of the sound or, or sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from the where uh, it goes so so is everyone who is born of the spirit Nicodemus uh, answered Nicodemus answered and said to him how can see things be uh, Jesus answered and said to him are you the teacher of Israel and do not know those things most assuredly I say to you we speak what we know and te testify what we have seen and you do not receive our witness. If I have told you earthly things and you do not uh, believe, how will you believe if I tell you 
heavenly things. No one has ascended to heaven but he who came, up, came down from heaven, that is the Son of Man who is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And that whoever, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that, uh, that uh, whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. Yeah, not condemned, but uh, might be saved through, through Jesus. He who, uh, whoever believes in Him should not perish, but, but uh, have eternal life is the verse 15. Moses slipped up the serpent in the wilderness. Yeah. Moses slipped up the serpent in the wilderness. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Yeah, lifted the, the serpent and the Jesus also lifted up the wilderness. Son of man be lifted up. That's the result of uh, our mm, the result of our uh, on yeah, that's the result of uh, our death. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned, uh, condemned already because he has not believed, believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Yeah. And it, this is the condemn, con, condemnation. This is the condemnation that the light has come into the world that, and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. So all good. Uh, every verse, it will be uh, so good. Yeah. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light that his deeds may be clearly seen that they have seen, that they have been done in God. After these things, Jesus and his disciples came into the land of Judea and there he remained with them and baptized. Now John was, John also was baptizing in an Anon near Salim, because there was much water there and they came and were baptized. Yeah, much water. For, uh, for, Uh, yeah, Jesus also gave the baptized at the Anon. Yeah. For John had not yet been thrown into prison. Then there arose a dispute between some of John's uh, dis uh, disciples and, and the Jews about puri puri purification. And they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, he who was with you beyond the Jordan, to whom, uh, to whom you have 
testified behold he is baptizing and all are coming to him john answered and said a man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from heaven you yourselves bear me witness that i said i am not the christ but i have been sent before him he who has the bride is the a bridegroom but the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoice greatly because of the bridegroom's voice therefore the uh, this joy of mine is fulfilled yeah this joy of mine what uh, what my this joy of mine will be fulfilled he must increase but i must decrease he who comes comes from above is above or he who is of the of the earth is earthly and speaks of the earth he who comes from heaven is above all and what he has seen and heard that he te te testifies and no one receives his testimony he who has received his testimony has certified that God is true for he yeah the, we have the my testimony will be tested certified that God is true for he whom God has sent to speaks the worth of God for God does not give the spirit by measure the father loves the son and has given all things into his hand he who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he who does not believe the Son shall not see life. But the rest of God abides, abides on me. Therefore, when the Lord knew that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, though jesus himself did not baptize but his disciples he left judea and departed again to galilee but he needed to go through samaria so he came to a city of samaria which is called sikar near the plot of ground that jacob had to his son joseph now jo Jacob's well was there, Jesus therefore being re wearied uh, from his journey, yeah, sat thus uh, by the well. It was about the sixth hour. Yeah, I'm weary too now, but uh, uh, the, uh, the word of God is really uh, uh, sweet to me, so I will try to my best, but uh, not make, uh, not uh, take long time. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Uh, then the woman of Samaria said to him, how is it that you being a Jew, ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman, for Jews have no dealing with Samaritans. Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, if you, knew, if you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water living water thank you uh, jesus so that's why almost all the you just uh, went to the samaria and then uh, make the story of a samaritan woman so we need first uh, living water so that's why yes please give your living water then i will not weary, you know?
But Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as well as his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered and said to her, Whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never, never thirst, yeah, never thirst, but the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water the springing up into everlasting li life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water, that I may not thirst, nor come here to draw. Yes, give me water. I'm so regret why do I read your word in, through my life. Almost uh, since I 42 years since I know you during the 42 years since I know you so called a Christian I I didn't thoroughly you were love letter so sorry but anyway, I tried to keep, keep, and hear your word. So that's why you now let you give the times I try to understand your word. I need your living water too, like a Samaritan woman. Yeah, this processing in this John, the Gospel John, I can just trace your work, Jesus. The, please let me know or the trace of your work out on this earth. The woman. Yeah, the woman said, I have no, the, uh, yeah, yeah. I may not thirst nor come here to draw. Jesus said to her, go, call your husband and come here. Yeah, the woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, you have well said, I have no husband, for you have uh, had you have had five husbands and uh, the one whom you know have is not your husband in that you spoke truly the woman said to him sir i i perceive that you are a uh, perceived <laughs> just only one husband he he told her but uh, he she knew it, sir. I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers that worship our fathers worshiped on this mountain, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship that you, you do not know, we know not what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. But, uh, but the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth for the Father is seeking seeking uh, such to worship Him. 
God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Jesus said to her, uh, I speak to you, am he. Yes, so glorious scene. And uh, at this point, his disciples came, and yet, yet no one said, What do you th seek, or why are you talking with her? Um, the woman then left her water pot, left her water pot, went her way into the city, and said to, he, to the man, Come see a man who told me all things that uh, I ever did. Could this be the Christ? Then, the, then they went out of the city and came to him. Yeah, the city, the people the came to him. So the, in the meantime, the mean woman just cried cry out, shout out. Uh, I wonder the town of people where it, it stopped the uh, birth because my battery just make the uh, short. So I will try to read again uh, chapter 4 chapter 4 uh, from verse 35. Do you not say this? Uh, there are still four months and then comes the harvest behold I say to you uh, I say to you lift up your eyes and look at the fears for they are already white for harvest and he who reaps receives wages and uh, gathers gathers fruit for eternal life that uh, both he who souls and he who reaps may rejoice together for souls or reaps to get rejoice together for in this the saying is true one souls and another reaps uh, i sent you to reap that for which you have not labored others have labored and you have eternal life uh, their labors and many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified that he told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans, I guess the Samaritan woman, though she <coughs> is not a, a pure woman, but uh, he, she did she did uh, the good work for the Samaritan uh, people. So that's why I think the, only the miracle is miracle. But uh, the people's work, people's at manner will be turned to the people. So that's only my guess. Yeah. So when the Samaritans had come to him, they urged him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his own word. Then they said to the woman, Now we believe, not because of what you said, for we, for we have heard for ourselves and, and not, uh, know, know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the water. Uh, savior of the world. Now, uh, after the two days, he departed from there, and uh, I will show you. The, uh, I'm just, you know, uh, wrote wrote a kind of a prayer or just my curious uh, question like that. So I try to show what I, I wrote it here, wrote on here. So then they said to the woman, now we believe not because of what you said, for we have heard for ourselves and know that 
This is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Now after the two days he departed from there and went to Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. So when he came to Galilee, the uh, Galileans received him, having seen all the things he did in Jerusalem at the feast, for they also had gone to the feast. So Jesus came again to Cana of Galilee, where he made the waters wine, and there was a certain nobleman's nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum when he heard that Jesus had come out of Judea into Galilee. <clears throat> he went to him and implored him to come down and heal his son, for he, he was at the point of death. Uh, then Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders you will by no means believe. The nobleman said to him, Sir, come to before my child, child dies. Jesus said to him, Go your way. Go your way. Your son life, live, lives. Son lives. So the man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and he went his way. And as, the, as he was now going down, his servants met him and told, me, told him, saying, Your son lives. Then he inquired of them uh, the, the hour when he got better. And they said to him, Yesterday at the seventh hour, the fe fever left him. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in which Jesus said to him, Your son, uh, your son lives. And he himself believed and his whole household. This again is the second sign that Jesus did when he had come out of Judea into Galilee. Yeah, I want to save my energy. So that's why I just uh, speak, I just uh, sh uh, close my face. Sometimes it, it is wonder why I'm just focused to my, um, my face closed than others. It is more, you know, good because I, I don't think about my hairstyle, my clothes like that. So though wrinkled, uh, ugly face, and I can uh, speak like a microphone more close, more clear word of God, I will, you know, the, uh, hear even myself and you, for yourself, you. Because I wonder how many, you know, uh, will be watch this, but uh, just listen the word of God. So, there are shouting of people and then cars, noisy. Sometimes there are kind of disturbed things that happened. It, uh, the chapter 5, after this there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate of Poor, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, uh, Bethesda having five porches. If I uh, after I just read all most uh, Bible, then my English will be better. Then I will. Uh, I want to uh, verse by verse, maybe kind of a word. There are kind of curious, you know asking to you the I will tell uh, uh, my stories together so why don't you try to do the in in Holy Spirit uh, Holy Spirit after the uh, chapter 5 let's go on <laughs> chapter 5 uh, not yet not at my time so I will read it or through maybe 10, 
times or 50 times more, but I'm already old woman, so you try. If you are youth, young, please let you start now to read the, read the Bible, listen to your uh, father's voice that this will be the love letter for you. Yeah, when I just spend, spend 60, no, the four, 40, 43 years when I know God. After this, there was a feast of Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porches. In this lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Yeah, then they already serious story about death. Yeah, but uh, he just de dealt with the death, just command you believe first. Then your, your child will be li lives like that. So, and then after this one, just whoever Whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water but was made aware of whatever, whatever disease he had, now a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years. Um, when Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time. He said to him, do you want to be made well? Yeah, the uh, sick man answered him, sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, rise, take up your bed and walk. Uh, and immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked and talked. And that day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said to him, who was cured? It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He answered them, he who made me well said to me, take up your bed and walk. She just did uh, make the uh, Jews make this kind of a question. Who made the first? Take up your bed and walk. Then they asked him, who is the man who said to you? They knew it already and Jesus knew it already too. Take up your bed and walk. But uh, the one who was here did not know who is who, who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn a multitude being in that place. The, I, I just uh, read the, the story of Esther. Mordecai make this that kind of cause. But, yeah, I'm just uh, guessing about this story too. Where it comes from the cause first, but the Jesus caused this will be happen like that. And the the man departed. The, the afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, "See." <clears throat> he answered them, "Who made me? Where well, said to me, take up your bed and walk." Yeah. The Jews therefore said to him, Jews just uh, said to him who was cured, it is the Sabbath, it is not lawful for you to carry your bed. He answered it them, he who made me well, they said to me, take up your bed and walk. Then they asked him, 
who is the man who said to you, take up your bed and walk, but the one who was here, he did not know who it was, who it was. For Jesus had withdrawn a multitude being in that place. Yeah, he did not know who is Jesus, but Jesus uh, gave the story. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. See no more, lest a worse, worse thing come upon you. Yeah, Jesus uh, find, uh, found him again. The first time he visited first that he doesn't know Jesus, but uh, he cured first and make them after he found the no sin no more like that. See, you have been made well, sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon you. Yeah, the processing. Which one is first or second, like that? The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. For this, uh, for this reason, the Jews persecuted Jesus and thought to kill him because he had done these the things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father has been working until now, and I have been working. Yeah, he is working. Therefore, the Jews sought all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but also said that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Then Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the Father do. For whatever he does, the Son also does in like manner. Yeah. For the uh, Father loves the Son and shows him all things that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than this, than you may well, that you may marvel. Uh, for as the Father raises the dead and gives lift to give gives lifted gives lip gives life to them even so the son gives life to whom he will for the father judges no one but has committed all judgment judgment to the son uh, I that uh, judgment to son that or should maybe there are I no I, I think. Yeah, here. Yeah. That 23. I or that all should honor the Son just as they honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent, who sent him. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word then and believes in him who sent me has uh, has everlasting life and uh, shall not come into judgment but has passed from uh, death into life most assuredly i say to you the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the son of god and those who hear will live for as the Father has life in himself, so he has gra uh, granted the Son to have life in, in himself, and has given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. I can of myself do, do nothing. As I hear, I judge it and my judgment is righteous because I do not seek my own will but the will of the Father who sent me. 
if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another who bears witness of me, and I know that he uh, that the witness which he witness of me is true. You shall send to John, and he has uh, borne witness to the truth. Yet I do not receive uh, testimony from men, but uh, I say these things that you may be saved. He was the burning and shining lamp, and you were willing for a time to rejoice in his light. But I have a greater witness than John's, for the works which the Father has given me to finish. The very works that I do bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. And the Father himself who sent me has testified of me. You have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his form, but you do not have his word abiding in you because whom he sent him you do not believe. You search the scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life and these are they which testify of me but you are not willing to come to me that you may have life. I do not receive honor from men, uh, but I know you that you do not have the love of God in you. I, I have come in my Father's name and you uh, do not receive me if another comes in this uh, own name, he, him you will receive. And uh, how, uh, how, how can you believe uh, who receive honor from one another and uh, do not seek the honor that comes from the, the only God? Do not think that I shall accuse you to the Father. Uh, there is one who accuses you, Moses, in whom you trust. For if you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. Uh, but if you do not believe his witness, uh, be, do, uh, if you do not believe his writing, how will you believe my words? Chapter 6, but I wonder to, to this morning, so uh, noisy, there are trash, yeah, garbage truck, truck just, you know, come here. So, uh, it's long uh, word, the chapter, so I will stop here. Let's go to the 6.